And after all of that talk about cool weather, all I want to do is find a cozy blanket. And luckily, our next guest has me covered. Colleen Echohawk is the CEO of 8th Generation, a native-owned brand based right here in Seattle. The brand recently also made the cover of British Vogue. That's one of their blankets right there draped across the shoulders of actress Lily Gladstone, who stars in the new film Killers of the Flower Moon. Please welcome to New Day, Colleen Echohawk. Well, hi, Kelly. I'm so excited to be here. Thank oh you so gosh. much for having us. Me too. This whole like situation <laughs> in front of me looks absolutely stunning. I'm so excited. Walk me through how you found out about yeah. this incredible cover. Well, we were really excited about the movie that was coming out, and we got the call from um, British Vogue, but didn't really know there was a connection. They just said, hey, we're doing this photo shoot. Will you send us some of your scarves, some of your accessories? And so we said, absolutely. Um, we have a very brilliant marketing manager, Devin Kelly, who said, you know, let's also send them some blankets and some of our other products. So we we did and then we got the call in August saying you guys made the cover and we were like what made the cover <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was so special that it was our Coast Salish pattern blanket. That Coast Salish pattern blanket designed by Louis Gong is one of the most iconic Seattle uh, blankets and designs that you could ever find and that is available on a retail marketplace. So we were absolutely beyond thrilled. I'm still excited. Oh. I still can't believe it. It's so cool. I mean, that is just so amazing for a local company yeah. and everything here in front looks absolutely incredible. So tell me a little bit about your mission for someone that yeah. hasn't heard of 8th Generation. So 8th Generation was founded by Louis Gong, the same person who um, designed this beautiful Coast Salish blanket. And his mission was to bring native art and design into the marketplace and also do it in the right way. Like there's a lot of art that's out there that has been co-opted and has um, the designers haven't been um, given the right credit for it. And so our company is out there to showcase real American art and design, which is native American art and design, and really do it in the right way and make sure that every artist gets credited and every artist, every one of our artists who designs for us gets, um, gets their gets money from that like they're actually receiving um, you know an economic um, boost into their community every time you buy a product from eighth generation I love that and what are some of these products yeah. in front of me here you know I feel like you have everything from right. home decor to blankets you know? there, there is just so much on this table that I'd love to talk <laughs> about. Of course, we have the blanket that Lily Gladstone was yes. wearing right here. We we fought over the one that actually went to British <laughs> Vogue. We're like, because Leonardo touched it. Oh, my gosh, I bet. <laughs> Iconic. Um, but we also have here, this is our um, signature um, wool blankets. This is designed by Anishinaabe artist Sarah Egerton Howells. This is one of our best sellers. Wow. It's just so beautiful. It can go into almost any kind of um, aesthetic because of the cream and of the Stunning. browns. And it's just so beautiful. Um, then we have our just regular tea towel. Like everyone needs a, um, a tea towel and you, you need product in your home. And that. when you buy this product, it supports um, a really an amazing artist, Andrea Wilbur Saigo, who's actually from this area, from the Squaxin Island tribe. Um, so um, we were trying to kind of just get into everyone's homes, right? Like every home in America should have native design products in it. And it's not the norm, but we want to really encourage people to, to think about it and to you know, put their put their money into a really um, amazing um, company. Um, you could buy from Target, and you know who doesn't like Target. <laughs> uh, but also, if you, you think if you're that conscious buyer yes. and you care about Seattle and you care about um, um, Native community, you can buy some of our products because they're all made right here, right? And this is your gold well, label. Or? Our, no, so this is our gold label product. Okay. So I'm so glad you mentioned gold yes. label. So these are our gold <laughs> label products. This is we think we're one of the only um, companies in Seattle that actually manufactures blankets right here in Seattle. And so this is our um, our, coast, our sorry our gold label product. Stunning. It's super heavy. This is designed yes. by oh, um, wow. Jared Yazzie, who's a Navajo um, designer. He's one of our inspired native artists, and he is just so talented. Um, this is called the New Phase and love is available this. in our downtown store and also Need online this. at 8thGeneration.com. <laughs> I just love this one. It's super, it weighs almost, it weighs over five pounds. I know, it's a workout. <laughs> And this up. is um, <laughs> this is one of our this is our best selling gold label product. Okay. This is um, designed by an Alaska Native artist. He's Shimshian, um, David Robert Boxley. I 
I love this blanket. It just it just is iconic. It's it's warm and cozy, and the colors are just really beautiful. I bought this at Christmas a couple of years ago. I mean, um, it's just all, these are so all fun. amazing gifts, like you said, coming right. up for for Christmas. And things yeah. are some are pretty accessible over right. here as well. Do you want to talk about some yes. of these products? Yes. Well, these are some of our brand new mugs. This is a seed. This is designed by Louis Gong, and it's actually a cedar. It's supposed to think we're supposed to be. Uh, it's supposed to embody like the cedar, and it's embossed right here on on the mug. This is also an octopus design, which I I like him crazy about. This. I mean, I like octopus. Love that. And it's just so um, again, it's so elegant, just embossed into the actual ceramic. Yes. One something that's really popular in our stores are our socks. So you can see several designs. If you don't want to buy the Cosilla blanket, you can buy it in a sock. Ooh. We also have it on a hip bag and One on a tote. One size fits all. So Absolutely, we love that. our socks are wildly popular. <laughs> And this candle, I cannot get enough of. I love candles. I know. Um, this is um, Ooh, our yes. juniper spice. All Ooh. of our candles are um, native medicinals. So, like our most popular candle is cedar tobacco. It has a very um, just beautiful sm um, scent to it, but it's also sort of um, a little bit masculine in, in the way that it smells. So it's got a it's got a great vibe. But I'm crazy about this juniper cranberry I am too. spice. That would be um, amazing. An in amazing your holiday home. candle, and it's also a three wick. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, and then this necklace. This necklace yes. has gone viral on TikTok. If you follow us on TikTok, <laughs> um, it's called the Breakthrough Necklace. It's designed by Michelle um, Loudon, who's a, Co a Como Pueblo tribal member. Um, I just personally um, love this. It's one of those like great ones that you can stack. Very delicate. You know, the gold yes. stack is like in trend right so now. In. So this is um, a really beautiful necklace, and again, available at EighthGeneration.com or in our downtown retail store. And you said five million views on five TikTok. Too and, on and going up. <laughs> yeah. But so obviously there's been also a lot of conversation, I feel like, over cultural appropriation. Right. And you say your products though are for everyone. Right. So where's the line you think between cultural appropriation yeah. and cultural appreciation. Absolutely. Well, one of the things that you should look at as a buyer is who owns the company. We're owned by the Snoqualmie tribe, which is one of the wonderful tribes right here in, yes. in the Seattle area. And so when it's owned by a tribe, when you have when you see that the CEO is also a native person, and also when you go to our website, you're going to see and you buy any of our product, you will see that it will come with a card that describes exactly who that who that tribal artist is. And wow. That's how you can be sure that you're buying not culturally um, appropriated art, but you're buying art that is actually from a native person, designed by a native person, and you as a customer can appreciate it. Yes. And you can support native economic sovereignty, you can support tribes, you can support these native artists, and you can feel really, really good about what you're buying. And we want everyone to know that these products are made for everyone and um, should be appreciated by everyone. Oh my gosh, that is so incredible. You are incredible. I have chills. <laughs> and like we talked about, you know, first here, Killers of the Flower Moon, it's getting a lot of attention. Yes, you mentioned yes. Leo wearing the right. blanket. How do you feel about Native representation with all of this yeah. in the movies, the buzz around it. Well, what I love about this movie is telling a real story. It's telling something that actually happened, and it's a horrific story. Yeah. Um, you know, I haven't gotten to actually see the movie yet, but I am excited to see real stories about what happened to Native people in this country lifted up, and to see an, a, an actress like Lily Gladstone there. I'm also excited because um, my dad was an extra in the movie. My dad lives in Oklahoma. Oh they filmed gosh. it all in Oklahoma. My, I have other relatives who are extras in the movie. I don't think my dad made it into the movie. Oh. I would have heard by now, he would have put it all over Facebook. Um, <laughs> Your dad but, sounds like my dad. I love it. <laughs> but I think that um, it's just a really interesting opportunity for our whole the, the global you know community to see a real native story, and I'm really excited to see it myself. I am too. It's definitely on my list. Yeah. I'm really excited to see it. So excited about all of your success. These Thank are amazing you. gifts Thank for the you. holidays. Thank you so so much for being here. I'm delighted. Thank you so much, Kelly.